Car makers face bankruptcy all the time, and this state of affairs can often be traced back to poor design choices. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be checking out some hits and misses, mostly misses, in car design. The AMC Javelin. The Javelin is one shining star in an otherwise less than stellar catalog of car designs for AMC. It helped boost the company's image, at least for some time, and was known as one of the best looking cars of the 1960s. Designed to compete with such muscle cars as the Mustang and the Camaro, the Javelin did well but never matched its rival's numbers. The AMC Pacer Another ugly till it's cute car by AMC, the Pacer has been called the worst ever car design by some car enthusiasts. With fishbowl windows that magnified the sun and a practically non-existent air conditioning system, summer months were practically unbearable in a Pacer. Even so, the Pacer has figured prominently in pop culture, acting as Wayne and Garth's Mirthmobile in the Wayne's World movies. Stop it, you're scaring me. The AMC Gremlin. The AMC Gremlin was the first US-built subcompact. The sprint to get this car to market before competitors Ford and GM may have resulted in a rush on the car's design. In short, the Gremlin is often cited as one of the ugliest cars of all time. It is considered poorly designed because of its odd proportions. Gremlin, like other unique cars, had its share of loyal followers who were convinced that the car was ugly to the point that it was cute. The Ford Pinto. The Ford Pinto Pinto is well known as one of history's biggest car fails, and not simply because of its poor design. It has had several nicknames, Death on Wheels, or the Barbecue that Seats 4 are a few of the worst. Basically, if you got rear-ended in a Pinto, the car might explode and you'd be trapped. Its gas tank was located right behind the rear bumper, and the doors had a tendency to jam when struck from behind. The real problem with the Pinto came when Ford allegedly calculated the cost of redesigning the car versus the costs from potential lawsuits. DeLorean DMC-12 With its gullwing doors and unpainted stainless steel body, the DMC-12 was unlike anything that had come before it or since. The DMC-12 is considered a fail mainly because of the troubles suffered by the DeLorean Motor Corporation and not due to the car's design. Aesthetically, however, the DMC-12 is no fail. It has found its way into several popular films, including Adam Sandler's The Wedding Singer, but its best-known use was in the Back to the Future trilogy as a time machine. And in the words of Doc Brown, The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style?